Hi again. So this is another video where I'm going to teach you motherboard diagnosis. So of course we are gonna see many tips and tricks about troubleshooting common issues on a failed motherboard. Okay. So this is another important article that we gonna study today. Of course, if you want uh, directly to follow with me while watching the video you can just go here to my website as you can see here we have prospace20.com okay of course i'm going to put for you the link of this article in the description box okay so you can open the article and follow with me while explaining this tutorial okay so let's get started. So the motherboard diagnosed troubleshooting tips for common issues. So motherboards are the central hub of any computer system, connecting and co coordinating all of its components. When something goes wrong with the motherboard, it can be a frustrating and often confusing experience. In this article, we will cover some common issues that can arise with motherboards and provide some troubleshooting tips to help you diagnose and fix the problem. So, understanding the motherboard, I'm going a little bit speak to you about what is exactly the motherboard. So, before we dive into troubleshooting, it is important to understand what the motherboard does and how it works. So, the motherboard is a printed circuit board that connects all of the components in your computer. Okay? It's, it connects and together all components in the computer. Okay? Including the CPU or the central processing unit or the processor, memory, graphics, cards, and storage devices like HDD hard disk drive or SSD solid state drive. It also provides power to disk components and facilitates communication between them. So common motherboard issues. Right now we're going to see what is the common issues for the motherboard. Here are some common issues that can occur with motherboards. So, the first issue is you can get a motherboard with no power. If your computer isn't turning on at all, the problem may be with the power supply or the motherboard itself. First, check that the power supply, so here the power supply or the adapter or the charger, okay? is properly connected to the motherboard and that it is switched on. So check if the connector is connected directly to the power jack and that the adapter is on. You can find an LED above the adapter sometimes for some adapters. If the power supply or charger is working correctly, the problem may be with the motherboard. Check that the motherboard is receiving power from a power supply. Here you can use the multimeter to check uh, the charger, check whether you have or you get 19 volt in the charger or not. Because sometimes the charger or the adapter or as we have here the power supply could be the failed part, not the computer. So always you should check the charger. So check that the motherboard is receiving power from the power supply and that all of the power connectors are properly plugged in okay so this is the first issue that you can encounter in a failed motherboard while diagnosing a motherboard so the second the blue screen or screen of death so while you get this screen means you have a 90 percent a hardware problem so, the blue screen of death is a common issue that can occur when there is a problem with the motherboard or another component in your computer. When this happens, your computer will display a blue screen with an error message and then restart. So, here, for example, if you add a memory, a random access memory or RAM, and your RAM that is not 
adequate or fitted with other RAMs that you already installed, you can get a blue screen. Or for example, if you have problem with the hard disk drive or the processor or the graphic card, etc. So the blue screen is generally due to hardware problem. So the error message can provide some clues as to what's causing the problem. Of course, in the blue screen, if you read the blue screen, you will find, as you can see here, a technical we have here a technical information and and we have stop and we have this message okay this message tell us exactly this is a code that tell us exactly where is the problem is it the hard disk drive is it the memory etc so you can just take this message and go to microsoft the support in the microsoft and put that message and you will get exactly the cause of the failure because this is a code each code is referred to a certain component so the error message can provide some clues as a as to what's causing the problem in many cases a blue screen is caused by a faulty driver or hardware of course it could be also a driver means a software okay so the third issue that you can encounter in your motherboard or laptop is overheating okay overheating this is a very common issue overheating can cause your computer to shut down or display warning messages this can be caused by a faulty fan or heatsink or by dust and debris clogging up the cooling system if you suspect that overheating is the problem, check that all of the fans are working correctly and that the heat sinks are properly seated. You may also need to clean out the inside of your computer to remove any dust or debris. So, boot failure. If your computer is having trouble booting up, the problem may be with the motherboard or another component. First, check that all of the cables and connectors are properly connected if that doesn't work try booting up with just one component at a time starting with the motherboard and then adding each component until you find the one that's causing the problem this is a very impor important tip over here if you have a boot failure okay you can remove for example the hard disk drive and remove the graphic card remove if you have for example three ram chip you can rem remove two and just keep just one chip okay and try to boot okay or you can even remove all components that is inserted to the motherboard and add y by, by one you can add in the first time the ram okay and then add the hard disk drive and one by one in order to check or to detect exactly the cause of the failure now i will give you some troubleshooting tips as you can see over here so here are some tips to help you troubleshoot and diagnose motherboard issues check the power supply I mentioned early the power supply or charger is a common cause of motherboard issues make sure that the power supply is properly connected to the motherboard and that it is switched on you can also use a multimeter to check that the power supply is providing the correct voltage and current the bios so check the BIOS. Here we have an 8-pin BIOS. By the way, I posted yesterday a video about how to repair a deed motherboard. A very interesting video. It's basically a course, 30 minutes of very exclusive knowledge. Okay? You can go to my channel. You will find that the video that I posted yesterday. A very important video. And of course, I will... Uh, put the link of that course in the description box. So the basic input output system BIOS is firmware that controls the hardware of your computer. If there is a problem with the BIOS, your computer may not boot up correctly. 
try resetting the BIOS by removing the CMOS battery for a few minutes and then reinserting it. You can also try updating the BIOS to the latest version. Of course, it means a driver latest version. Okay, so check the RAM. The RAMs also you should check the RAMs because if there is a problem with the RAM, the computer will not boot up. The screen will be black. Okay, faulty RAMs can cause all sorts of problems with your computer, including crashes and boot failures. Try removing and resetting the RAM models, or try using different set of RAM to see if that fixes the, the problem. Check for short circuit. Also, the short circuits. Also, this is a very important uh, topic. I post many videos about how to solve the short circuit and how to solve the short circuit. You can also check my channel. Short circuits can occur when a metal object object comes into contact with the motherboard or another component. This can cause damage to the motherboard and other components. Make sure that there are no loose screws or metal objects inside your computer. Test the components. If you have ruled out other causes of the problem, it's possible that a faulty component is causing the issue. Try testing each component individually to see if you can identify the problem. You can use diagnostic software to test the CPU, memory, and hard drive, or try swapping out components with knowing good parts. Clean the motherboard. Dirt, dust, and other debris can accumulate on the motherboard over time, causing it to malfunction. Use a can of compressed air to be blow to blow away any dust or debris that may have accumulated on the motherboard. Be careful not to touch any of the components with your hands or any metal objects, as this can cause damage. You know. Electrostatic, yes, electrostatic is very dangerous for components, so always avoid to touch component with your fingers. Check for physical damage. If you have dropped your computer or it has been subjected to other physical trauma, it's possible that the motherboard has been damaged. Check the motherboard for any sign of physical damage, such as cracks or bent pins. If you find any damage, you may need to replace the motherboard. So, as a conclusion, motherboard issues can be frustrating and difficult to diagnose, but with a little patience and some troubleshooting know-how, you can often identify and fix the problem. Remember to take your time and work through each potential cause of the problem one at a time. If you if you aren't comfortable working inside your computer or don't feel confident in your ability to diagnose and fix the issue, don't hesitate to seek help from a professional. So here we ha I have some questions and answers, a very important questions and answers. What is the most common cause of motherboard failure? The most common cause of a motherboard failure is overheating, which can cause damage to the component and circuit in the motherboard. Can a faulty power supply cause motherboard issues? Yes, a faulty power supply can cause all sorts of issues with your motherboard and other components. How do I know if my RAM is faulty? You can use diagnostic software to test your RAM or try swapping out the RAM with no good set to see if that fixes the problem. Can I fix a physically damaged motherboard? It depends on the extent of the damage. In many cases, physical damage to the motherboard cannot be repaired and it must be replaced. Should I attempt to diagnose and fix motherboard issues myself? If you are comfortable working inside your computer and have some troubleshooting experience, you can attempt to diagnose and fix motherboard issues yourself. However, if you are not confident in your ability to do so, it's best to seek help from a professional. So this is all about this article, guys. Thank you very much. I will. 
put the link of this article and other useful link in the description box so don't forget please for anyone that not yet subscribed you can subscribe in my channel in order to receive a new videos and of course don't forget to share the video and like the video because your likes motivate me to create more and more exclusive content for you and of course you can join me on my Patreon page where I post many schematics and more unique content. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.